living off-grid, a way of life involving being self-sufficient with food, water, shelter, and energy. But what compels someone to pack up their Las Vegas home and live off-grid? Tonight, we introduce you to a Las Vegas couple who still work in Las Vegas, but commute an hour in order to be self-sufficient. Down this five-mile-long bumpy road off Highway 93, in an isolated, remote part of White Hills, Arizona. This is not an easy living. You'll find Richard McMahon and his wife, Karima. My tiny house, that's what I call it. In the midst of building their off-grid existence. What compelled you guys to pack up your Rhodes Ranch house and create a tiny little home? Well, I think it's maybe different for both of us. I don't know if she really wanted to in the beginning. I never lived in a trailer. I've never been in a double Y. I never did nothing like I am a city girl, okay? So this was all new. They bought the land cheap in 2020 initially to develop and sell. But over time, the idea of living out here, having land and money to pass on to their children took hold. And now, I love it. I wouldn't trade it at all. It cost us about $40 a year to live here. You heard right, property tax, 40 bucks. They pay no mortgage, no power or water bill. Everything you see here, we've paid cash. We didn't want to go in the debt on anything, so that was kind of like... Our whole thing, we didn't want to take a loan out. For the past six months living in this trailer, they worked to complete their 900-square-foot home with attached garage, sharing their journey on their Off-Grid Roadrunner Ranch YouTube channel. Welcome back. Off grid road our ranch. A labor of love to self sufficiency, but not without its challenges, especially living so far out from civilization. It's not like you could just go to Home Depot and get a, a part to <laughs> glue something together, you know. And there's always something of the elements to contend with. You see that? You see? You see? You see? I'm not playing, y'all. I am not playing. Just win. Just. Go ahead. They finished the roof and stucco, starting the electrical and water for inside the home. These two didn't sacrifice quality in order to live off grid. Blueprints reveal their plans for a bathroom complete with high end finishes and a chef's kitchen. Well, look at this as being all the utility companies right here in this little corner. Richard's got the entire off grid setup in this corner of the trailer water department, irrigation for plants, and eventually... We're going to do rainwater catchment, and the roof is going to... We're going to take, get all the seasonal rainfall, and they're going to go directly into our tanks. Their solar panels function well. Come on in. And they're getting a hang of the garden, learning to outsmart the critter. We did the chicken wire because I was worried about rabbits. But now I'm dealing with ground squirrels. Living in the middle of the desert, there's bound to be a few. We got free range cows, and they just, they just walk wherever and start eating up shop. A system now in place to protect their apple and peach trees. As for the tomato, squash, and jalapeno bushes. We also have like a big tent because the birds will come in here too. I could survive pretty much on the vegetables. I don't know about Richard. <laughs> <laughs> These two have been married for five years, sharing an emotional and most recently physical yeah, yeah, closeness. We have friends that are like, I don't know how you do that, man. I'll kill my wife. They commute into town together for their construction business. Today, I don't miss the city at all. I enjoy the drive. I put on my audio book and I just roll. Best friends living a peaceful, now stress-free lifestyle. The nights are really nice. And we'll barbecue, sit at our picnic table. Six months out from being finished on this house. Well, Richard feel like he have four more houses in him. So do another one diagonal from here so it won't block our view. And then head on to Tennessee, because that's where we wanted to be, to Tennessee go out there and build one, and then his grand finale is Alaska. And I tell him I gotta get ready for that. For now, enjoying the solitude and serenity of living big off-grid in a tiny home. An acre of land in White Hills, Arizona now costs about $50,000 and it comes with a septic tank.